That's the Frank Sinatra Celebrity Invitational, 1990. You've been involved in this for a long time. I was involved with it. I'm not the invitation from the very beginning, and I have known the gentleman most of my life, and he influenced me most of my life, and uh, I'm very proud to be here. Do you have a favorite song of Frank's? The obvious one is Come Fly With Me. It depends upon your mood. Set him up, Joe. Man, you're feeling lonely. Angel Eyes. You know, it, uh, for those who didn't grow up in that time, he was viscerally a part of your life. He made to, to dream about, to feel sad about, to make love to. I mean, but literally, and what I find interesting is, you know, we're all biodegradable. Everybody goes to the great beyond. But about Frank, he's selling more records right now than he's sold ever in his life. Not because, ghoulishly, he's dead, but because he's the only singer, the pop singer ever, to have a, what they call a heart line to people's lives, and he affected them, you know? And, uh, and I'm very proud to have been his friend. Is it safe to assume that the favorite Sinatra song of Elliot Ness would be My Kind of Town? <laughs> My Kind of Town and not Al Capone's Kind of Town. You got it. You got it. All right, Robert Stack, thanks a lot for being with us. Continued success to you. I thank you very much, I'm sir. I'm a solved mystery. Don't forget that. All right. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.